This is attempt number two in our recording session. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, hi, Bren, and welcome back to Subject Neutral's Stellaris series. It's nice to see that there's some people who seem to be enjoying this. We're enjoying it, so we're going to get going. Uh, our last episodes saw us go to war with the Seer Senior Hierarchy, the crazy purifier aliens, and... <laughs> It was a bit of a disaster, but we... Yeah, we got really lucky oh. with, like, his fleet, like, pretty much going free reign throughout both our systems. Yeah. I it... guess he was just seeing what we had, and then, what planet do I take? <laughs> I know. And well, it turns out he decided to take out your uh, spaceport. I know, that was brutal. But he's also at war with the Selemi Empire uh, north of him, so I think he sort of, once it looked like we were doing terrible... I think he rerouted a bit to go deal with them. Yeah, right. once he knew what our strength, he was like, oh, these guys are a bunch of dumbasses. They attacked me with their full strength, and it was just like an ant that I simply crushed with my thumb. I'll go deal, concentrate on the Salemi Empire. Oh, and then sweet. I guess we built up, and then we caught him by surprise by uh, taking his uh, the bonus system. And then I guess you took uh, oh, uh, one of his systems too, eh? Yeah, yeah. So just I'm looking around. I have a colony ship being made, and I'm trying to figure out where uh, where to go. And just north of me, there's a huge 25 space Gaia world, which are the best worlds you can go to, right? And it must be a glitch because not only does it have two special planet modifiers, when I go to the surface, it's got a freaking ton of resources everywhere. Each space, each one of the 25 spaces, has at least three different resources on it uh, in multiple numbers. It must be a glitch, and I'm going to rush my colony ship there to take it as soon as I can. Where is it? Just north of me in the, the Balawar system. Uh, it is, I'm just trying to find it here. It, it, Not that, like, I'm pretty much going to be going south and pretty much taking up the outer rim so yeah, to speak good plan and i'm gonna go north uh so yeah one thing we should mention is we are doing this two days after the clark update which is stellaris's first major update and they rushed a couple of things i'm actually i'm going to start this so we can start doing things while we talk uh if you okay. need me to pause for whatever reason just let me know but yep. the, the clark update's really big they're really trying to fix, not fix so much as just tweak a few of the things they added. So they've changed screens, so diplomacy and combat screens look much nicer. After combat, the combat report now gives you a lot more information. It tells you specifically what ships you lost, what was doing damage, how much damage your shields and armor absorbed. So it's really just cleaned up a couple of screens like that. But it's also uh, changed a few really nice updates. It's changed the AI. So they're not necessarily more aggressive, but they're smarter. They'll actually build things. They'll clear spaces. It's changed the sector AI. So when you get big enough to have sectors, there used to be a problem where you'd make a sector and your sector wouldn't do anything. It just kind of sat there. Now your sector will build ships, it will build spaceports, it will start to build its own navy. If the navy gets to be a certain size, it builds ships for your navy instead. Uh, so they've really tweaked a lot of the AI intelligence to make it that much better, which is really nice. I'm trying to think what else there was. They've tweaked a lot of the various planet stuff. They've tweaked tech a little bit. It's... It wasn't a particularly big update so much as oh. as it was a, a very nice tweak update. The bigger update is coming probably towards the end of this month with the um, Asimov update, which is going to add a ton of stuff so that you can now declare wars jointly. So the problem me and Torque had where we both had to declare war on this guy separately won't happen. Now you can, without being in an alliance, jointly declare war. You can ask for more things in war. Like, when we went to war, we could either liberate a planet or we could take a planet. But now when you can declare war with this next update that's coming, not the one that happened just now, you can humiliate a rival, you can force them to give you tribute and give you money uh, every month, you can force them to do a lot more stuff. 
So it's, it's going to be quite interesting. There's other stuff, and unfortunately it's just... I don't remember a whole ton of it now, and I'm kind of starting to focus on my system. Oh, shit, I'm not where I thought I was. Let's survey that. So, uh, Tork, how are you doing? What's your... What are your um, people up to? Um... Oh. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm just... I've had a few things, uh pop up that i've been trying to deal with uh yeah it's it's been about two weeks since we played so i'm kind of like what do i do here and i'm sure this planet i saw is a glitch because it is unbelievable you'll see it uh i'm very happy to say our split screen idea is working great so we're going to continue doing that so torque you'll see this amazing gaia world it's unbelievable it's got to be a glitch look at this this one space has six energy, two minerals, and four food on that one space. Um, sorry, where's... Oh. Oh, yeah, stupid. Yeah, I... I don't know what to do with this bonus thing, because like we were talking about earlier, I can't make this specific planet a, um... I can't make it specifically a, uh, a vassal without the uh, the home planet. Oh, okay, that's that's kind of silly. I wonder if that will be in an update. Um, yeah. because like it's I don't this planet is not the climate for my people. So you know what I could I would like if they do do it in an update is I wish what they could do is like I could say you know what you can control your people but like. Specifically, yeah, I just make you a vassal. Yeah, like yeah. they they get their own leader and whatnot. Because I don't want to put my people on here because they're going to hate it here. Yeah, it's true. Um, and, and really, if I keep them here, then all they're going to do is they're going to riot, destroy all the buildings, and kind of screw up the progress. True, very true. I uh, I just want to say that's why I killed them all on mine. <laughs> <laughs> And it makes me a terrible person. Ah! Um, let's see. Is this a smart idea to be doing this? Tell, tell me, oh. chat. Should I should I be doing this? It seems like a silly idea, but I'm gonna do it. I'm that resettling sucks. some people from my main world to the world I purged everyone off of, and it doesn't seem like the smartest plan. Because it costed a fair bit of influence and other stuff like that. But I'm going to do it. Oh, I, I'd need this freaking Gaia world. Ooh, perfect. Um, least at the... Rocketry, survey speed, uh, barrier, point defense. Uh, sorry, I'm just like... Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, that's one of the, that's on one of the other things one of our other viewers, Bjork, calling it out, King Bjork... Uh, commented is apparently in the last video we put out number three for most yeah. of the video you weren't researching in one of the tech trees it was just sitting there popping up saying like research me research me and you kept ignoring it well like I said uh, at the beginning of this series like I love strategy games but I'm terrible at them yeah. so that's well, clearly a reason why I'm terrible at them oh yeah well and in this kind of uh, game I don't know about you, but I'm really used to pausing whenever I want. Whereas with us in multiplayer, that doesn't happen as much. Yeah, no, it's I like pausing too, and um, uh, it's I wish I could have uh, uh, researched that um, colony uh, stuff because Hazar has oh, a uh, right. a nice planet in which yeah. I could go on. That's right. I forgot that you didn't research colony tech right off the bat. What? Yeah, I know, because I figured, you know what, like you said at the beginning, or w w I don't know if it was in the videos beforehand, or if we had talked about it before, but it was um, the fact that uh, colonizing a planet is a lot of resources, which in the be in the beginning you don't exactly have a lot of. So I just figured, oh, well, yeah, you know what, yeah. I'll just come back to it once I've established myself strong, because I figured I was going to be, I was going to turtle myself mass up my resources and then do rapid expansion yeah that way 
And now I can't do that because I have no uh, See, um, no colony ship. It's funny because I actually, when we got into this game, I swore to myself, I'm not going to rapid expand. I'm going to slowly expand and make sort of very... Uh, a lot of worlds in one system as opposed to one world spread out kind of thing. And instead, I ended up doing exactly what I do in my single-player games, which is rapidly expand. And part of that is because we're kind of surrounded by an awful lot of people. I didn't want to get screwed. But uh, it probably wasn't super necessary. How are you doing for minerals? I have a ton of minerals. I am... Uh, I've got about a thousand. I also have a... Cr uh, did you accept my trade deal? No, I didn't. I accidentally clicked it off, and I thought it was from an enemy, so I didn't kind of worry about it. Uh, oh, because it was saying I had an overabundance of a certain resource. So, it, oh, so I can still hold... I've got, like, uh, almost three grand in energy. So oh, that's a lot of energy. <laughs> Well, the, uh, the, 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 uh, assholes who, uh, hate, decide to hate everyone and are getting their butts kicked, he descended to send me a, um, a, 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 a bunch of, uh, energy credits. Oh, oh, really? He gave you, like, a big payment? Someone yeah, uh, he sent me, like, uh, 1,700. Someone... Hey, nano composite armor. Sweet. Someone on one of the forums I was reading said that he wasn't sure if it was a glitch or what it was, but he was saying he noticed when uh, someone gets defeated badly, they occasionally give a large payment of something. And it seems like they're trying to boost your, like, uh, how you look at them, your popularity with them, because that's how you do it with the AI. You could pay them off to be nice kind of thing. So yeah. I saw someone else mention that they that seemed to be happening to them in uh, in multi or like the AI tried to pay them off. That's really nice. I don't quite remember what happened, but I am making ninety one minerals per turn, huh. and I find that amazing. Yeah, like I'm up to thirty one minerals a turn. Sweet. Um. And I've got uh, mineral storage capacities for. We have there's a, a fallen empire to our east, to the far east. I don't think you've seen it yet. Hey, hey! I find I'm going straight for. I finally got my colony ship thing. Sweet, sweet. So, <laughs> yay! <laughs> Excellent. What's he giving me? Oh, sweet. Research. Holy crap. Like, uh, are we going, like, super speed or something? No, we oh. are on normal speed. I have not actually Solar. turned it up at all. Uh, oh, there's bad people there. It's this. Resilient. Shh. The second murder. Oh, okay, so I can actually get in there. Okay. Oh, yes, my colony on the freaking amazing Gaia world has started. I wonder if we should consider an alliance, you know? Oh, yeah, we can't. We're rivals. I'm going to end our rivalry. How much do I get from rivaling you right now? Uh, I thought we did end the rivalry, but it needed a cooldown or something like that. No, no, we couldn't end the rivalry because of a cooldown. Oh, come oh. on. One of my scientists died again. Huh. Yeah, I've got a few people uh, dropping dead. Uh, okay, let's see. Build, ba 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 ba. I have, I have two types of power plants. Sweet. I don't know what the difference between them. Uh, is it an upgrade to a power plant, or is it called a Batharian power plant, or something like that? Uh, well, it says power plant one and power hub one. Oh, power hub is really good. Power hub is a separate building, and what it does is you can only build one per planet. And it doesn't give as much energy on that space, but what it does is every other power plant on that planet gets a big boost to how much energy it produces. It's like the total energy produced by a planet is plus 15% or something. So it's really good on a planet with some bit of space. 
so if I have like ver um, a couple very high energy output spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely make one of them a hub because then you'll get a ton of energy once you start building the other things. Power plant, replace with a hub. What is being built there? This one builds okay. virtual combat arena. Oh, virtual combat arena is pretty good too. That would be really good on the planet you uh, conquered. Um, oh god, I am out of minerals. This... I want to build a... Okay, one of the things I didn't do last time that I really should have done is get an admiral. That's one of the reasons I got my butt kicked during the war. So I... Oh, yeah, because, like, that's what I was doing a lot of was getting... Because I did the... Uh, I did kind of the, the quick... Uh, tutorial bit so I knew about like adding admirals uh, gives your uh, fleets additional bonuses mm -hmm. so uh, oh that's actually one thing I wanted to do so I was already doing that right from the start yeah so. yeah lucky you see um, I knew admirals were a good thing but I hadn't thought about it this early because we really rushed into that war and it really would have made a difference I'm sure Okay, I need to kind of just sit and not overextend myself right now. Coyote. Let's go survey you. Hey, my borders are sort of slowly expanding. That's nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Doesn't tight. Um, coyote. I've got some room here. Oh, there we are. Oh, yeah. So, oh, I'll save it for the next video. We've got five minutes left on this video, remarkably. So oh, wow, was, really? I, I, it goes fast, and it goes fast to a degree because we were uh, catching up with everything. The Bikul system has been fully surveyed. Um, hmm. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I've got regenerative... Uh, hull tissue and it uh it doesn't take any power at all yeah it's nice we were, we talked about that one in a previous thing it is a really nice upgrade oh i know one of the things coming in the the next update not the current one one of the things they were talking about is one of the big kind of not complaints but suggestions that players would like to see is they don't like how you can't enter another empire's border they think it doesn't make sense for space because this is space you should be able to pass through another empire without you know having to go all the way around them well yeah because it it's got a huge yeah, amount of space exactly. space space is big you know the most obvious answer ever so in the next update you, any ship can pass through any empire, but an empire can choose to close their border to someone in particular, but that really gives you a negative effect from other people. So they'll really hate it if you close a border, and it will probably cost a fair bit of resources to do so, because it would be really hard to close and patrol your border from, uh, from bad guys. So yeah. that should be really interesting because one of the things that I find really annoying and I'm sure lots of other people do, which is why it was suggested, is if you're blocked in, it's really annoying to try and get around them. If you're like right now, I have a couple of missions to research various planets and stuff. Almost all the ones I have left are in the borders of someone else. And there's no way the AI will give stuff because I'm a terrible person who genocides people. So they hate me. So yeah. the next update, they're going to make it a lot easier to get border access from various empires as well as to uh, just travel places without getting stuck. See, the viewers, let me know, why is my trade screen so different from everyone else's? Like, I don't get it. Mine looks totally different from Torx. Look at here. I forgot that I had, a, oh, I have antimatter missiles. I forgot about all this shit. <laughs> oh, that's good. 
if you can tell, I'm sort of excited. Yeah, I, I could tell, yes. Come on. Oh, yeah, I guess this is the end of the, uh, the video, eh? We've got two minutes left by my counter. Oh, this is cool. And I'm uh, right now in the destroyer uh, 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 maker, and something popped up here. Oh, science research defense platform. Um, sorry, oh, that's, that's uh, I'm really just nice. in the... Uh, they've they've one of the updates is they've changed the trade screen for when there's a like when you agree so I, I sent a trade offer to someone else and they just like they accepted and last time it popped up and they just said we accept and that was kind of as far as it got whereas now it actually gives you a summary of what they accepted and what they're doing which is really nice yeah Faith breaker, hope breaker, fortune breaker. <laughs> that sounds like Ooh. pleasant names. Yeah, well, the destroyers, I guess what how they've done them is the destroyers are separate. Like, you have, I guess, your uh, Corvette classes, yeah. where they're just one chassis, so to speak. And then with destroyers, you get two chassises in oh, one, yeah. so you can have I, different yeah. combinations. I see what you mean, yeah. I have that. I have destroyers as well. Two armor. Oh, shit, that's a pretty big difference. Um, clear design, actually. Oh, complete ship. System survey. Is this the same thing? Sorry, everyone, I'm just, I'm looking at my ships trying to figure out if there's any difference to what I already had. Unar system has been surveyed. Unidentified empire has declared someone I know as a rival. That's kind of weird. Oh, that's cool. This is really different from the match I'm playing offline, or not offline, you know, my single player game. I'm currently playing a sort of flood, uh, flood, the flood meet Zerg kind of thing, and I've taken half the galaxy, and I'm all about just blitzing in, destroying everything, enslaving and consuming the enemy. It's great. Okay, I am pausing this here. This is... Uh, this episode, this is should be this is probably going to be episode seven. We will see you guys next time with another episode. We hope you're enjoying it. It seems like you are from the views. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, yeah, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. See ya.